Yo, what's up guys? I just wanted to give you a quick update. So today we finally had the long awaited Jump Festa 2022 Chainsaw Man Super Stage. And at this Super Stage, we had two absolutely massive things confirmed. We had the uh, Chainsaw Man Manga Part 2 and Chainsaw Man Anime both confirmed to be coming out in the year 2022. I've seen reports that uh, the Chainsaw Man Anime is going to be coming out in fall 2022, which makes sense because the leaks we got before said that that was going to happen. I like I say leaks, but you know, rumors. I like we can't whatever. I don't like the L word. But the by far biggest thing to me was the fact that we actually got a timeline for the Chainsaw Man manga part 2. In that uh Chainsaw Man 2022 trailer we got in the Jump Festa uh, live stream today that I streamed with my boys Cone TV and Overanalyzing Chainsaw Man. I'll put links to their channels down below. Uh, we found out that the Chainsaw Man manga part two is coming out this summer of 2022. These things might be kind of water is wet news to many of you because of course this was gonna happen sooner or later. But the fact that like we could officially have Chainsaw Man manga part two as soon as June this year is amazing to me. It's exhilarating. I am, I can't sit still at this point. I just want to say 100%, I'm definitely going to be making so many Chainsaw Man videos this upcoming year in 2022. I want to talk all about the manga part two. I want to talk all about the anime. I'm going to be getting more and more merch for Chainsaw Man. I just put out a funny, sexy Chainsaw Man merch haul video uh, this morning. So check that out if you want to participate in a fun little giveaway as well. That's probably my favorite video I've filmed in a long time. I think it's probably my funniest video too. But I just want to talk about a few things, uh, potentially predictions for uh, Chainsaw Man manga part two, because now we know it's coming super soon. I anticipate we're not going to be seeing a release until maybe july or august that's probably a safe bet because a lot of manga and anime industry people like to use vague timelines to say when something's coming out because you know the production schedule can always be set back there's tons of reasons why that could happen whether it be the mangaka's health the mangaka's workload what else he's got going on tatsuki fujimoto is clearly a busy guy he's working on so many one shots right now but when tatsuki fujimoto says summer 2022 that could be anywhere between even may to September, all the way up through October. So that's a, a pretty long period to be waiting at the edge of your seat, but who knows, we could get it sooner or later. I think it's important that we as avid Chainsaw Man fans remain patient and optimistic. We're definitely gonna be getting more news as it comes, but I just, I gotta say, this is such an exciting time to be a, a super fan, right? Uh, a few of my predictions that I'm certain a lot of people will agree with me on, uh, there's gonna be a few manga spoilers going forward. Uh, one, two, three, manga spoiler time. Uh, there's two massive holes in the cast right now. There is no power and there's no Aki. Uh, how are we gonna fill those? My thoughts, and I know a lot of other people's thoughts, were that Hirofumi Yoshida, uh, from the Darkness Devil arc and the Assassin arc, would be a great replacement for Aki. Um, I'm not sure if any of you saw this, I talked about this in my Crazy Chainsaw Man fan theories, uh, video but there were two names in the gun devil attack that were uh, killed by the gun devil's rampage in like chapter 75 or something uh, that were both Yoshida's. Uh, Yoshida Yudai and Yoshida Ichiro or something. I don't remember the other name, but uh, those could have easily been Hirofumi Yoshida's parents and it could be another revenge, dark, edgy character like Aki was in uh, Chainsaw Man part one. So that'd be, and also a lot of people love Hirofumi Yoshida. That would be an absolutely great pick to fill that niche spot that needs filling right now. And also because Denji's in high school now, I'm pretty sure Hirofumi Yoshida is also a high schooler. What if they went to the same school? Um, just spitball on that. I feel like Power's position could be filled by Nayuta because it's the bratty little sister position and I feel like Nayuta already proved herself to be a little bit of a bratty little sister when she pointed at Denji and went, doggy. So um, yeah, I, I think that's gonna be so much fun. Uh, I couldn't even begin to imagine what's going to be, like, the plot. Who's going to be the villain? Uh, what's going on? I know Tatsuki Fujimoto talked about uh, what part two of Chainsaw Man is going to be like on the live stream today, but my Japanese is super rusty and my dictation skills aren't that great. But there's definitely going to be transcriptions of that online today. Keep your eyes out for that. I'm certain I'm going to be sharing it on my Twitter channel. Link's down in the description below. Twitter channel, Twitter page. Uh, so if you want to follow me there, I'll definitely be putting my updates uh, down there. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. We have so much mother fucking exciting news today. Uh, so please watch my sexy Chainsaw Man unboxing video and uh, stick around for more Chainsaw Man content. Stick around, tomorrow I have my uh, Aya Shimon chapter review coming as well. So uh, if you like Aya Shimon, stick around for that as well. Uh, like and subscribe if you're feeling like it. I really appreciate that. I love making this type of content and I'm super duper incredibly motherfucking excited for what 2022 has to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.